Good morning, guys. Today is a very bittersweet day. So we have our um, anatomy scan this morning. Um, I'm 22 weeks and five days and we're having our anatomy scan. Um, we actually, the last time we went, they thought they were gonna do the scan, but they scheduled us um, too early. I was only like 18 weeks five days and they said she was too small to get all the measurements they wanted so they rescheduled it four weeks later which is today um to do the scan again um which we're really excited about because we're like oh yeah we're gonna get um to have another ultrasound because um where i go they really the only one you're supposed to have is this one but um, we've had a few other ones um just because i wanted to check on a few things um but anyways so the bittersweet part about it is Paul can't come in there with me um, because of COVID-19. Uh, they're going through a bunch of extra precautions, which I'm, I completely understand. And I'm very thankful they take our health and our safety seriously. But it just still sucks because, you know, you want your husband there with you during appointments and he can't be. So but anyways, yeah, we're all required to wear a mask. Thankfully, my mom made masks for me. It's going to be a different experience than I planned. Thankfully, this is another positive to it. I'll be able to record it, which usually they don't allow you to record in, in the ultrasound room. So I'll be able to have it on video, which I'm super thankful for. Always excited to see baby, but the circumstances around this appointment kind of suck. And from what we've been told, the rest of the appointments will be this way. So kind of a bummer, but it could be worse. And I'm just super thankful that we get to see baby again today. So, you go inside and you check in and then you go to your car and you sit here until they're ready to call you back then they call you on your phone and then you come back in the building <sighs> i'm already out of breath and i was like 10 steps away but anyways so yeah they're really going the extra length but it's necessary i get it hard but a lot better than it was good, good, good. so starting to gain weight then yes i have <laughs> <laughs> that's the hardest part especially when you were so sick that's the heart structures that we couldn't get last time just due to being so small in there mm -hmm. we're going to show that the heart is on the correct side of the baby's abdomen that it's on the left
<laughs> we had them crossed right in front of the face. The face is going to be right back behind here. So, if I can get it. so chin's here. Mm -hmm. Little mouth, little eye sockets. It's a good face shot. So I'm just now getting around to updating um, from what our appointment, from how our appointment went. Um, for the most part, everything was good. We did get some slightly bad news, like not horrible, but um, when they were doing the anatomy scan, the one thing they noticed was that she only has a two, a two vessel umbilical cord instead of a three vessel umbilical cord and most babies like most babies have three um i guess it happens in one percent of pregnancies so basically she has one vessel bringing her nutrients to her one taking the waste away instead of two vessels bringing her blood to her and one taking it away my doctor did not seem like super concerned she said that she has seen it she usually has at least one patient who is who has a two two vessel cord um she said i shouldn't be worried um but that just means that they're going to be monitoring baby more i'm gonna have to go to like another more high risk place and have a non-stress test done and what else i think i'm just gonna have to have more ultrasounds and be coming in more regularly so that they can um, just make sure that she's getting the nutrients she needs but she is one pound five ounces which is, she was only nine ounces last time we went in four weeks ago. So she's growing like she should, so that's a relief. It was awesome to get to FaceTime Paul while we were in there so that he could talk to the doctor, ask some questions. Probably gonna have to take our birthing classes online. <laughs> so she gave us some, some suggestions for that. We also, I we were supposed to be going to Iceland next month um, for our baby moon and our, we were going to do a vow renewal um that we won um in this like contest that um these people on instagram were doing but now they're like our friends now they're super sweet but anyways that's where we were supposed to go and she ended up telling me no right off the bat like 
yeah, you, you're not going. So we got a, a note so that we can get our money back and get the flight insurance back, like the money back for our ticket so we're not losing money. It's a bummer, but you know, it happens. Other than that, she's good and I don't know. I guess that's just another added part to this journey that we will have and I'm not super stressed out about it, which is shocking because I stress about literally everything, but I think everything will be fine. Um, yeah, baby's good. We're good. And I just got a smoothie from Juice Stop, so I'm really good now. But anyways, that is it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.